But the bad thing is that guy that's calling, right? Like he, um, he's a, um, he doesn't even mask his number. Like he's calling off his basic number. Like I could easily just report him to the police for harassment. Like seriously, dude, if you got, we already got your number, right? So like in future, if you're going to do this to somebody, at least take the time to block your fucking number. No, 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 motherfucker. It ain't a fake number because it, it's it's the same area code. It's the same area code as I live in. Dope effect. Richard, do an IQ test live, Pog Champ. I don't know how to. I don't know where I could even get an IQ test. That's legitimate. What's the blood work for? Um, the blood works to. Um, it's for a few things. Uh, it's to test thyroid, to test sodium in my blood levels, to see if I'm a diabetic. Um, it's also to see. All right, there's like five or six things. I ended up doing seven different blood tests. I go to Mar for that. And then, like, at that point, tomorrow's when I got to decide if I'm going to do the cardiac uh, stress test or not. And if I decide to do that, we'll do that. That all depends on how much that costs. If it's like five, six hundred bucks to get the stress test, I'll do it that way. I'll do it here. If it's more than that, I'm just going to. Go go ahead and go to Mexico and have have the thing done in Mexico because it's going to be miles cheaper to have that test done in Mexico and just bring it back. Is it safe to sit into them? There's nothing you a stress test is done by a machine, man. It's not really done any other way. Since Lexapro, you lost 200 subs though. I went broke last time I was on. I went broke when I was on Prozac last uh, three two or three years ago. So because we we just lost that guy. Um, and that's because I just don't, I use anxiety as a, as a means to force me to work. And I've been working a lot less. I mean, like I think somebody said I was averaging like 14 or 15 hours a week for over the month of April. So that is what it is. Yeah. I'm not sure. If I don't like it, I don't do it. <laughs> I had 779 subs at the beginning of April. I've lost like, uh, close to, close to. 200 oh, easily over 200 but pushing 300 subs in april i don't really care but i don't really care about the subs anymore man it's, I, I appreciate yeah. subs I, I literally do but at the same time like honestly i'm on i'm on my way out son i am like i'm not and i'm i couldn't be happier about it <laughs> working's not that working's not that damn hard people make it out like it's hard for me right now because i'm fucking a, a land monster but like going somewhere eight hours and being bored that's not hard I used to do that shit all the fucking time. I do it right now because I don't. Really, it's the only thing I can do at my weight that makes me any kind of money. Like, I couldn't hold a McDonald's jam right now. Dope effect wings. Would you play God of War again? Try lowering the difficulty to easy. Not everyone can be MLG Pro at single player games. Lexa Pro medication bot. Live for one hour. Total Lex work consumption should be ten milligrams. Yeah, ten milligrams an hour would kill you on Lexa Pro, honestly. So if wings is still streaming, I just want to let everyone know. Uh, shout out to my friends Sean Ranklin, uh, Saint, Diet Coke. Shout out to all of you. You all are the homies. Like, and also you understand casual has skill based matchmaking, so we're not going to be facing complete downies on the other side. So you can't just do dumb stuff. Fly ass Spider Man shirt as always. That's because that's just the way society is as a whole. Wing Tings was Wing Tings was the big channel. He quit. Sean Ranklin took over. When he quits, somebody else will take it over. The fact is, there's a market for there's a market for the videos that are being made, and somebody will fill that niche. People, it's it, it's it's trendy right now to dislike me, and people will, people will try to make money off your suffering as as often as humanly possible. The only pro, the only thing I don't like about the hate channels is that it's gonna it, it pretty much sticks me in this line of work for a long time. And, like, I really want to go into another line of work. I want to drop the weight. I want to I want to put this part of my life behind me. And, like, in, like, a perfect world, I want to be able to look back on this my, my 20s and, like, my early 30s and be like, I'm a better person because of that time period. But, like, I don't think that's going to be the case. When I e-beg, every person that streams on Twitch e-begs, man. Every single one of them. I I don't care about Sean Ranklin, dude. So quit asking me about him. Who gives a shit if he monetizes or not? 
him monetizing or making money off videos isn't what I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is long-term ramification of having his videos on the internet. And there are people that do monetize, and there's people that make shirts and all this other stuff. There's money being made off of my off of off of me suffering. That's what I was getting across. Like my problem is like he mislabels shit. Like he like I'm sure this is gonna be a video, right? And what he's gonna do, he's gonna be like Wings is pity stream. But I'm not pitying anything. Like all I'm trying to do is like push it to three hours. That's all I'm doing here. What do I do when I'm not streaming? Like I said, after I get off streaming here in a second, like I'm gonna go lay down and let my body re kind of like recover from sitting in the chair. I know that sounds silly, but like it actually hurts me to sit in this chair because like I'm so heavy it pushes the padding down. 